As your child approaches the end of their first term here at Bishop Gore, they will receive their PG1 report, which is a summary of the progress they've made since joining us here at Bishop Gore School. Now, in Year 7, pupils are currently studying our new Curriculum for Wales provision, and they have been assessed in relation to the progress they have made on the learning journey outlined in the school curriculum. So as part of the new Curriculum for Wales framework, pupil progress is no longer measured against level descriptors or grades, as you may previously have been familiar with, and instead the focus is on progression and ensuring that every pupil makes the best progress possible. Now, all of our schemes of work in subject areas outline the expected learning journey for a learner in Year 7. And on the report that you will receive today, each teacher has reported on whether your child is making expected progress in their learning journey. So you will receive a report that is very similar to the example on the screen now. You will see it has basic information about your child at the top. And then on the left hand side, you have your child's progress grades. So each subject is listed and then your child is given a code which relates to their progress in that subject. So EP means that they are making expected progress in their learning journey. That is really pleasing and means that your child is making the progress that we expect in relation to their age. If your child has been awarded AE, that means they are making above expected progress in their learning journey. So they are regularly demonstrating skills and knowledge that are above those that are outlined in our expected learning journey. And then finally, if your child has been awarded WT, then their teacher is saying that they are working towards the expected progress in their learning journey. Now, in order to make these conclusions, teachers have been regularly assessing pupils, that is on a lesson by lesson basis, using classwork and assessment for learning strategies, but they've also used summative assessments, those are larger assessments, in order to make judgments based on pupil progress. You will notice that in addition to these codes, your child also has an effort colour. So green indicates that your child is making the minimum required effort in that subject. Amber indicates that more effort is required in that subject. And then finally, red indicates that your child needs to make significantly more effort in that subject area. Finally, included on the report is some baseline data relating to your child, including their All Wales Reading Test Age, their Welsh National Test Scores and also their Midius data. If there are blanks for any of that information, that will be because your child has been absent when those tests have been completed. And if you would like any support in interpreting that information, please don't hesitate to get in touch. On that note, it's a huge die down to Blwyddyn Scythe and we look forward to you receiving your PG1 reports.